Hey y'all, it's a beautiful morning and I'm about to let an Eastern Black Swallowtail butterfly go. I'm gonna show you, here it is in the container and it is just going crazy. I'm so shocked, this is 6.30 in the morning and I get up and here this Eastern Black Swallowtail is already out of its chrysalis. He is having a fit. Oops, oops. Okay, so usually they're not this active. So it makes me wonder if maybe I missed him and didn't see him in the container yesterday evening. So here's what I'm doing. I'm gonna let him get on my arm. Oh, well, welcome to my garden. I'm excited about teaching y'all about growing Eastern Black Swallowtails today. Um, I just released one and uh, it just flew up into the air and left my sight and I probably won't ever see it again. But um, I've got plenty more to show you about how to raise caterpillars, how to feed them, where to find them, and uh, how to release them. And here's a book that I love that's got information about all different kinds of butterflies. It's got good pictures and it's got great information. I've used it. I would recommend it. Um, I think I bought this probably on eBay or Amazon. Um, you, your local library might even have it. Okay, buddy. I'm about to release an eastern black swallowtail butterfly. Eastern black swallowtail caterpillar turned into an eastern black swallowtail butterfly. Here I have two instars of the Eastern Black Swallowtail Caterpillar. You can see the one on the left is very small and the one in the middle is very large. And then here is kind of a medium instar of the Black Eastern Swallowtail Caterpillar. They're on fennel. They're really liking the fennel this year. Sometimes they like the curled leaf parsley, but uh, this year they've really been drawn to the fennel more. So I was at Streets today shopping for plants in Fairhope and I found this curled leaf parsley that they had and it is just covered in black eastern swallowtail caterpillars. You see this guy? He is so big. He is going to turn into a chrysalis probably really soon. And then see this little guy right here? See how they have like a white dot in the center? Looks kind of like bird poop. And uh, that's, that's to, you know, keep from being eaten. I mean, birds don't want to eat their own poo. So they change with each instar. They look a little bit different. You can see there's a medium size one there. This thing is just covered. But I went ahead and bought this coral leaf parsley. I didn't really need it, but I didn't want these caterpillars to get thrown away. So I brought it home and I'm gonna raise these. Eastern black swallowtail uh, caterpillars, if you irritate them, oh, see that? You see that orange thing come out? When you irritate them, they pop, that pops out and uh, they release a kind of stinky scent. So eastern black swallowtails, uh, if they are irritated, they will, when you pet them, they'll let out a little orange. Let's see, this one guy, he's not that upset. But they'll let out these two little orange antler looking things and it's a stinky scent. Wow, he, he does not care. Just a minute ago, he was annoyed. But he is going to turn into a chrysalis very soon. You can see here's a smaller instar, and look how it looks like bird poop. It's got that white spot in the center. That's a way to protect them from being eaten by birds. And 
um, man, I don't know how many caterpillars are on here. About one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe more. But uh, if you see caterpillars like this on your curled leaf parsley, don't don't kill them. Let them live. These are eastern black swallowtail chrysalises. Um, I put a stick in the container when I raise them because I don't want them to make their chrysalises on the top of the container. They will either come out in two weeks or they'll come out in a whole year. And I don't want to babysit them. Uh, so I like for them to be on a stick so I can put them out in the yard and uh, I can attach them to maybe a tree or something. Right now I'm just got them stuck in this pot because I'm, you know, I'm going to let whoever comes out now. And then if they don't come out in the next two weeks, then I'm going to put them somewhere more permanent and safe. So they'll be protected until next year. But I don't want to keep them in the house like I've been doing. This is an eastern black swallowtail caterpillar that has attached itself to this stick and it's gonna turn into a chrysalis. On the same stick, I have a giant swallowtail chrysalis. Is that not gorgeous? It's so wild how they can mimic whatever they're attached to. Their chrysalis turns into that color or that pattern. I don't know how they do it, but it's just a miracle. So I planted fennel actually a long time ago probably six months ago and thank god it starts easily from seed because i'm not very good at starting things from seed but fennel really wants to grow and i, I don't know if you can see this the, there are two eastern black swallowtails on this fennel uh, my fennel is almost spent but what's so great about eastern black swallowtails is that you can feed them curled leaf parsley i buy some uh, i try to make sure it's organic from like publix and I feed them the curled leaf parsley when I bring them in and put them in my containers because I don't, I don't have enough fennel. But uh, this has really been drawing them. They've been laying eggs on it for months now. See that tiny caterpillar? It's on the uh, fennel. Whenever I find them, I bring them in and I put them in a container because birds really do like to eat them. And uh, one time I came home from lunch and I saw like 20 of them on my fennel. I was like, oh, yay. When I get home from work, I'm gonna get them off and I'm gonna put them on my container. But when I came back home from work, uh, they were all eaten up. There was not a single one left. So now when I see them, I bring them in. So here I'm about to add this guy to my container. I need to clean it out. I, I um, cut fennel and I've been letting him eat that. I you need to make sure that when you do get curled leaf parsley or any kind of parsley like from Publix, try to make sure that it is organic because I, I bought some recently and it may have had pesticides on it. They acted a little different than I'd ever seen them act before. Um, so I've been trying to feed them just what I'm growing in my garden. But now I've got so many caterpillars, I'm just, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm going to have to buy it at Publix. So this container does need to be cleaned out. You can see there's a lot of poop down here. I mean, they just, caterpillars, they're just going to eat and poop and eat and poop. Look at all that. Um, but one thing that I make sure that I do when I clean out um, the tank is I make sure that I gather up all the caterpillars off of the plants. And then I take the stuff that I'm cleaning out and I don't throw it in the garbage can. I put it at the base of one of my pots of fennel in case I missed anybody or in case there were eggs on some of this that uh, had not hatched yet because uh, I don't want them to be like stranded in the garbage can or stranded out in the middle of the compost pile. So be careful when you're cleaning out your tank. One of the reasons why I wanted to make videos about raising butterflies is I wanted everyone to know how easy it is it's it's so easy to do don't let it scare you I mean they're they want to live and uh, if you just feed them and uh, take care of them and watch them you will be rewarded with butterflies and you'll be making a difference because uh, every every butterfly every little butterfly helps so I've got a pot that's got some curled leaf parsley in it and I just put this giant, it's not a giant, it's an uh, eastern black swallowtail caterpillar. Put it on this right here. Isn't it beautiful? Look at how pretty he is. Um, that's all you need. You need some curled leaf parsley, you need some fennel, you need some dill, and you need some milkweed, and you're going to be good to go. 
get a couple of um, um, I was gonna pick the caterpillars off of this curled leaf parsley and then put them in the container, but I thought, you know what? They just look so happy on the plant. I decided just to put the plant in there and uh, I'll just let them eat it down to the ground and then I will plant it outside. Isn't this black Eastern swallowtail gorgeous? Do you see that blue? Oh, love it on the wings. Lovely. I've been raising Eastern black swallowtail caterpillars for about six or seven years. I've just never seen this happen to them. For a while, I thought that maybe even Eastern black swallowtail caterpillars didn't get parasites. I don't know if this is parasites or uh, if it's been poisoned, but um, I usually buy organic parsley from like Publix to feed them. And uh, these I know for sure have only gotten organic food, but um, my caterpillars have just been dying off one at a time. And uh, this one is, is still alive, but just barely. It's a uh, very sad. And here's another one that's uh, dead in the bottom of the cage in like a puddle of fluid. I'm gonna have to look it up and see if I can find just how to solve this mystery. I mean, that looks bad. It just looks gross. I'm just wondering if a parasite is the culprit.